what we're going to be looking at is a typical penetration in an EPDM roof. Uh, EPDM is a rubber roof, about like an inner tube. Uh, and as with any repair, one of the most important parts is going to be the prep work. Uh, we want to make sure we clean it thoroughly. Um, soap and water is a must. We have it on every repair truck. Uh, it's one of the first things you do when you're when you're going to, on any of the single ply roofs especially, you want to get them very clean with just clean soapy water. Uh, once you've gotten the repair area clean with soap and water, then you'll use one of the recommended solvent cleaners. Um, and it softens the rubber, opens the pores, and it prepares the area to receive the patch. You want to clean around the area well beyond your patch area so you have um, a significant amount of work area. What we're uh, showing you here is called an elastiform flashing. It's, it's basically a self-adhered tape. It's uh, got adhesive on the back of it already with a, with a release paper. And technician's going to cut the patch sized uh, appropriately, which should be to extend four inches beyond the edge of the penetration. Um, you want a good four inch seal all the way around your hole. Uh, he's going to round the corners. This, this eliminates the potential for them to peel up um, once installed. So he uh, has his patch cut. He has his corners rounded. Everything looks good. He has a good clean work area. Um, you know, clean it with soap and water. He's cleaned it with uh, solvent. And he's, he's ready to prime it. Um, you want to make sure you stir the primer up thoroughly. Plumber can be applied with a brush, but uh, if you'll notice, John's using a scrub pad. Uh, that really kind of just helps get into all pores. Uh, you get a really, really good application of primer by using a scrub pad. Once the primer's installed, you want to give it a little time to tack off. It won't take long in the sun. You can see it stringing on his fingers. Uh, it means it's a little wet. It needs to be dry to the touch, just barely tacky. Um, like I said, in the sun, this will happen fairly quickly, um, less than five minutes usually. Now that the primer's dried, John will peel the release paper off the back of the seam tape or patch tape. You can see the release paper is split. That just aids if you're working around a penetration or a corner. But once he's got his release paper peeled, he's going to fold the patch over. He's going to get it stuck down dead center is what you're shooting for. And then just like putting on a bumper sticker, you're going to start at the center and work your way out so you don't trap any air bubbles. Same with rolling it. He'll take his neoprene roller and he's going to start rolling from the center out. And you'll see those edges just stick down. Uh, once that primer is installed properly, the roof area is clean, you put this patch down, it's got to be in the right spot because it's not moving. After the patch is installed, you want to install sealant on the cut edges. You can see the factory edge of the tape has got a little bit of what we'd call bleed out. Um, but where we've cut the edges, now to keep them from wanting to roll up or peel up, we install sealant. Uh, manufacturers have their own sealants for this. John's using a urethane sealant. Uh, he'll go a little past, inch or two past where he's cut, and he'll install sealant. Once the sealant's pumped out, he's going to go back. He's going to tool it in. So you make sure it, it gets pushed into all voids right at the crack, right at the, right at the, the corner, actually, of where the patch and the roofing material meet. And once he's tooled in both sides, he'll clean off his hands, clean off his tools, and he'll move on to his next patch or next repair. And that's how you do an EPDM patch. If you have any questions about our processes or, or our products, um, check us out at www.barberjacks.com.